Are you aware of the Challenger mission from 1987? Uh, in passing, sure. I knew it existed. Pretty crazy. So after they landed on the moon and that with Apollo 11. Allegedly. Allegedly. They were trying to keep people interested in space. The whole thing for the 60s was the space race and everyone was wearing NASA shirts and they were getting a lot of funding and they got to do some really cool stuff. And they allegedly succeeded in their mission. They came up with an idea. They were going to send a couple of normal people into space with some astronauts and get everyone hyped on it. And they thought, well, who are we trying to inspire? And they were like, children. We want children to be inspired so that they keep dreaming of being astronauts and don't want to be tiktokers (laughs) tiktokers <laughs> they added into the mix a school teacher she got to go and talk at all the schools about going to space and all the kids got to ask about it and stuff and they set up satellite feeds of the launch in all the schools in america and all those kids got to take lunch off and watch this thing they'd actually approached sesame street and were like we want to put big bird into space then they couldn't make it work probably didn't have a helmet that yeah, was just, yeah. exactly <laughs> <laughs> Birds can't breathe in space, bro. They'd set up all of this stuff. Massive, massive PR stunt, right? It gets to launch day. The two main engineers are like, we can't do this. It's well below freezing. It's not really that safe. The bureaucrats were like, just get it done. (laughs) And they're like, we're pretty sure that rubber gaskets, they're going to expand too much because they're cold. And they're like, it'll be fine. The thing explodes on takeoff, killing all on board, live in front of every school kid in America. Space. (laughs) (laughs) Do the national anthem and stuff, and then it's like... Pretty sick way to go. And that's why you don't know any astronauts. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That is a pretty metal way to go out, though. Pretty sure they lost Ben Affleck and Liv Tyler as well at some point. They did. That was a tough one. Fortunately, we have Bruce Willis. (laughs) 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 And Steven Tyler. To, to he was not going to let his daughter thing. die. No. <laughs> <laughs>